Today we're pitting the cheapest, most popular, and highest quality versions of everyone's favorite cookies and determining which we truly believe to be the most worth it. Yeah, no, we are personally suckers for a classic take and bake Toll House chocolate chip cookie. So that's where we're gonna kick things off, chocolate chip cookies. Now this is our Toll House one. We put two of the big ones together to make one big one, like real big one. So here, I'm gonna give you a little, little food close up of just that one. I forgot that I have my own. This one go this one's nostalgic. So I've, I've never been disappointed by by Nestle Toll House. So let's let's give it another go. Nothing wrong with it. The perfect crisp on the outside, goo on the inside, these are all coming straight out of the oven. And so it's just absolutely amazing. There's nothing wrong with it. No. Let's see how crumble holds up next to it. <laughs> now we are not big fans of Crumble's classic chocolate chip cookie, but this week's flavor. They have the double chocolate, yes. which is the milk chocolate and the, um, what, semi-sweet chocolate chunks? I think it's dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Let's see how it is. It's awesome, but it is missing on the chocolate department for me still, even with this addition of the semi-sweet chunks. I definitely like that more than their regular milk chocolate. I think it's texturally on point, like the butteriness and softness of the actual cookie itself is fantastic, but actually going from the Toll House, it does lack in flavor to a degree. Yeah. It's interesting how the Toll House one actually like dulled down the flavor of that cookie in general. Yeah, it did take a step back, but next up we have Taylor Chip. Yes, now we've never had this one before. No. They are an up-and-coming cookie chain that focuses on extremely high-quality local ingredients. So I'm very excited to try and see, is it a standout? This looks outrageously buttery. Okay, let's try. Best of both worlds. This thing is packed with butter flavor. The gooiness, the softness, the richness of the dough itself. The chocolate is standing out so much more than the uh, than the crumble one did. This is exceptional. I've gotta say, I was kind of rooting, rooting for Toll House here. Yeah, honestly. But taking a bite of that, I am shocked at how good a chocolate chip cookie can be, can be. And we've had a lot of chocolate chip cookies, trust us. Yes. Let's say on the count of three, which we think was most worth it on those. All right, three, two, one, quality. Next up, we've got s'mores cookies. You can't go wrong with the classic combination of chocolate, marshmallow, and graham. No, and so we made the cheapest s'mores cookie we possibly could right here. And then we've got insomnias in the middle because Crumble doesn't currently have one. And then we've got Taylor Chip. Now ours is a little bit of a mess. We used that Pillsbury cookie dough, uh, marshmallow fluff. We had some Teddy Grahams lying around, so we we used those. Yeah, and it is an absolute mess. It is a mess, but it does look pretty awesome. Let's just see how it tastes. Despite being a mess, it is absolutely delicious. I don't know if we quite nailed s'mores though, somehow. I think it's because we didn't use actual marshmallows. We just used marshmallow fluff because we prefer marshmallow fluff to marshmallows. But at the same time, it is very good for being hilariously inexpensive. Yeah, I definitely enjoy it. All right, now let's try insomnias. We've only had this once before. Now they went for a completely chocolate cookie base with like graham mixed in and marshmallow. That probably doesn't look like absolutely anything. I'll give you that. Thank you. All right, let's see how they did. That is one rich cookie. And you know what I feel like it speaks more to than it does to speak to s'mores? I feel like if they put almond pieces in it, call it Rocky Road. It hits s'mores less than our extremely cheap, ready to bake version. It is good, especially if you really like a chocolate cookie, mm -hmm. but s'mores, mm -mm, I don't know. So let's see how Taylor Chip did. This thing looks outrageous. Now so far, the popularity contest of Crumble and Insomnia is not doing too well. No, all right, I'm gonna cut this one though because I, I don't know how the break is gonna go. Oh, baby, okay. <laughs> and they also use, they make, they use a house-made marshmallow flow that they use with minimal local ingredients again. And uh, I don't know, this looks un unbelievable. It looks amazing. Oh my God. 
I swear to you, I wanted my own cookie to win this round. I really wanted my own creation, thinking I know better. The one negative I will say is that they missed chocolate, at least in my cookie. It didn't, it wasn't too pronounced, but the actual base has graham in it, so it speaks heavily to graham and to marshmallow, which I think are the two components that people tend to miss a little bit more. That is unbelievable. Yeah, I've got my winner. <laughs> okay, three, two, one, quality. Now, surprisingly enough, peanut butter cookies are not my favorite. So let's see who wins with peanut butter and chocolate. Yes, no, we've got Pillsbury here. We're back to crumble and then Taylor chip. Now the Pillsbury just comes as like peanut butter cookie dough and then we put chocolate chips in it. Let's see. All right, try it. That is incredible. That's, yeah, no, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, it's pretty mild on the peanut butter, but the butteriness is exceptional. And the amount of chocolate chips and the way that they stayed nice and gooey coming out of the oven, amazing. Nobody yeah. complained about that. No, seriously. It doesn't speak too much to peanut butter, which obviously, after saying that I'm not the biggest peanut butter cookie fan, I appreciate that. And again, we did double up on the actual like pucks of raw dough. So that size actually created for an epically gooey cookie inside. The center is unbelievably gooey yeah. and soft. All right, next up, we're gonna be doing the crumble, uh, the crumble Reese's, right? It's like a, a peanut butter cookie, and I think it's got like peanut butter frosting and Reese's cups. We've actually never had this crumble cookie before. That was like your classic crumble cookie inside, huh? Man. That is such a savorable cookie. It's a little bit thicker, speaks a lot more to peanut butter than the uh, than the Pillsbury one did. And it, I absolutely love it. That is a great peanut butter cookie. It is unbelievable. Like you said, the peanut butter lovers of the world would love that. I don't know if I personally would need it as much as our cheap take and bake. Yeah. I really like it though. Now this one looks hilarious, like the shape of it, but this one's actually filled with chocolate hazelnut spread. So it's peanut butter with chocolate hazelnut spread inside. That looks so wild. Yeah. I love the textures of this. It's got the texture of like the a perfect sugar cookie, in my opinion. It misses salt a little bit for me. Yes. There's something about me that's like searching for salt, and I think that's like, when I'm expecting peanut butter, I'm also expecting that. It's very good. Mm -hmm. It's not my favorite though. After the other two, it's a slight step back in the flavor department. I was thinking the same thing. I'm very curious as to what you're gonna say. Okay, three, two, one, popular. Cheap. All right, so I'm going crumble, you're going Pillsbury. I respect choosing crumble, especially for that cookie. It yeah. is unbelievable. But for me, I would be equally as satisfied with that Pillsbury. All right, now this is the round I'm actually most excited about. We've got salted caramel pretzel here. Yeah, we've got Pillsbury going up against Panera. Panera, I think, is the only non-straight cookie chain that we have in this entire competition. But they are an extremely popular bakery and probably equally as accessible as Crumble and even more accessible than Insomnia. Yes, now this one is also made with the Pillsbury chocolate chip cookie dough. And then we we just did two ingredients. It's the Pillsbury chocolate chip cookie dough and then caramel snappers. Yes. Oh, wow, okay, look at that. All right, let's try it. No way. Two ingredients. Holy cow. Ready to bake Pillsbury dough and snapper salted caramel milk chocolate covered pretzels. A little bit of sea salt. Unbelievable. Wow, that is so over the top sweet. There's just enough caramel coming through and because we used those pretzels, the pretzels themselves are so crispy. That is exceptional. I, I am stunned right now. Let's see how Panera does next to it. Yes, we nailed that. All right, now this is the Panera kitchen sink cookie. It is a classic. It's got the, uh, it's got caramel, it's got chocolate chips, it's got sea salt, and it's got pretzels in it. Every kitchen sink cookie is a little bit different than the other. Whoa, uh, that is melty. This one definitely predominantly speaks to chocolate and salted caramel. Yes. All right, let's try. It's, 
It's got the richness yes. going for it. So unbelievably rich, but you're not picking up on the pretzel nearly as much as in ours. That's exactly what I was gonna say. It's rich, it's decadent, it's awesome, but you are missing the texture. Yes, now this one is definitely not missing any pretzel. Look at this. This is the pretzel and sea salted car like I think sea salt caramel from Taylor Chip. Now this one does not feature chocolate. So this will be the only salted caramel option that doesn't have some level of chocolate involved. Holy cow, this thing's crazy. It looks and good. This is local uh, local uh, Pennsylvania pretzels too. It is local Pennsylvania pretzels and they make the salted caramel sauce in-house and everything. That cookie base wins by a landslide in my opinion. But the whole thing, the entire thing is ruined by the pretzel for me. The pretzel did become soft. It's just, it's not even soft to me. It's stale, stale. That's the one thing. And there's nothing, I think that I would much rather have a soft pretzel than a stale pretzel. It's so disappointing because the rest of the cookie is so good. I was actually hoping for a little bit more salt and the, the actual cookie feels a little bit more like a sugar cookie to me. Mm -hmm. But even despite how good the elements of that are and how bad maybe like, you know, the, the staleness of the pretzel is, I have my winner above all of these. Well, <laughs> above that and the, uh, what you want to just say on the count of three whether that we think one? Yeah, I'm falling apart over here. All right, three, two, one, cheap. Now we obviously had to do a round with fully chocolate bases and these are all brownie cookies. Yes, now for this round, the take and bake is Sweet Lawrence Fudge Brownie Chocolate, uh, double chocolate cookie dough. Now these are safe to eat raw and we are actually obsessed with these cookie dough pucks straight out of the freezer. Yeah, so I'm interested in that. I think this is the first time we've actually baked them because that's all we eat them. I Before so. we get to this, I just have to say, sorry if you can see us sweating because it is four trillion degrees in here. Let's try the Sweet Lawrence cookie. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what, I like it better raw, but this is really good because it speaks so much to brownie. It yeah. really is brownie. It's a cookie that tastes like a brownie. Mm -hmm. Next up, we're back to crumble. Yes, now crumble currently has a, uh, they call it brownie batter cookie, so it's fully chocolate based. It's got chocolate chips, and apparently it's supposed to be like brownie batter. That probably doesn't look like anything. <laughs> that thing is so unbelievably dark. Falling apart, let's try it. That is a moist, decadent, rich chocolate cake. Yes. Just as brownie-esque as this one was, that is equally as indulgent cake. Yes. <clears throat> My thought on it is that it's the perfect, like, uh, cakey brownie. Because there are fudgy brownies and there are cakey brownies. I feel like that's the perfect cakey brownie. Also, if you are, like, a chocolate cookie person who loves a combination of chocolate and milk, like, that is the perfect cookie to have with a glass of milk beside you. Yes, which we are drinking milk today. That's what we have in the mugs. People love when we're drinking milk. If we don't have milk on hand, people hate it. Now we are back to Ch Taylor Chip here. This one does feature peanut butter chips. Yes. This looks, they call it brown, a brownie cookie, but then they put peanut butter chips on top. This one does look dense. Yes, it does. Wow. I'm heartbroken. This one is, this one's probably the hardest one yet. I'll tell you what, they are all drastically different than each other. That Taylor Chip one is is more like our ideal brownie, mm -hmm. you know? But then the crumbles, it just has a different element and more of that cakiness to it that I love and it almost feels like cake and frosting. Yes. This is tough because I feel like Taylor Chips is more accurate. I'm eliminating the cheap option. Yes, absolutely. But I'm so torn between the other two, but I'm going to be decisive. I think I've made up my mind. I think I've made up mine as well. Three, two, one, popular. popular. I, I respect it. I think I'm going with Crumble for this as the most worth it because even though it's not the most brownie, it is just perfect for me. Yeah, and both are amazing though. All right, so the next round is going to be cookies and cream cookies, and we're gonna start off with the Pillsbury Oreo Take and Bake. Now, I kind of love the redundancy of a cookies and cream inspired cookie, because it's a cookie inspired by another cookie. Yeah, no, this thing is not much to look at. <laughs> it's just kind of a gray mass. Let's see how it tastes. Yeah, 
It tastes a lot better than it looks, let me tell you. I do wish that they put white chips in it mm -hmm. to kind of play off the cream vibe a little bit, but it is excellent. And I do encourage everybody to double up on these, uh, on the actual rock pucks. Yes, because the center stays a lot softer, a lot gooier. Now, no chain, like no chain cookie spot has any Oreo flavors right now. Not Crumble, not Insomnia, not BJ's Brew House. Like no one has one. And so we brought our favorite of all times, because the a local one to us, Feed the Cheeks, has our favorite cookies and cream cookie ever. And so we figured we'd put that up against the other two. Yeah, this is undefeated in the cookies and cream cookie department for us so far. All right, oh my gosh. Just just look at it, okay. It's got the white chips in there, it's got the Oreo pieces. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. The texture on that is so nice. It's like really fluffy, but at the same time, ultra buttery. And I love the fact that to me, it speaks to creams and cookie. And that's my speed more so than cookies and cream. That's a great oh. point. I've got nothing else to add. It's our favorite for a reason. Absolutely spectacular. Now this has a very similar color to that Pillsbury one, right? Yes, yeah, it like does. That. Look, the exact same color. And this is also Taylor Chip. Now Taylor Chip is impressing me a lot and they are a growing chain. Right now you can buy their products online. And if you're in Pennsylvania, a certain part of Pennsylvania, they do have multiple shops, but they're expanding fast. So these might be available to you soon. I don't know. Let's see how they hold up. It holds up in the smell check. It smells like vanilla. Okay. I don't think I mentioned the fact that that doesn't have any chocolate in it. The, all the chocolate flavor that comes from the, in this cookie apparently is all from Oreo. And you can tell, this is the most unbelievably Oreo cookie, but ma made so unbelievably buttery, rich, and then it's got that nice crust on the outside. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, the Feed the Cheeks is still such a great cookies and cream cookie, but that is Oreo. Like, Oreo through and through. And the texture is so rich and so decadent. It is, it, it's unbelievable. I don't think that that could be beat. I think our I think our answer is quite obvious. Three, two, one, quality. So we've done chocolate chip cookies, we've done brownie cookies. Will the results be different with a brookie? Yeah, no, so we've got the Pillsbury cookie dough with the fudge, the fudge brownie one from Sweet Lawrence, because we had both on hand, so we figured we'll swirl them together and make our own little extremely cheap brookie. Actually, it looks pretty good. It looks awesome. Oh, it's, it's falling apart. I think that what we're learning today is that the taken bakes made a little bit too big like to fall apart. Anyone would know that came from a grocery store, but it's actually pretty good. I thought it worked perfectly. Mm -hmm. The thing I love about it is the brownie did crisp up a little bit more than the cookie, mm -hmm. which for me is a perfect brookie where the cookie is a little bit more buttery and gooey and the brownie creates a crust. Yes, no, I definitely liked it more than I liked the Sweet Lawrence Fudge Brownie on its own. Now, next up we have Insomnia and they have a straight up brookie. So the other ones are like cookie shaped brookies and then now we've got a brownie shaped brookie. <laughs> There you go. Now visually, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not too impressed with this. No, it doesn't look fantastic, but it may taste fantastic. You don't like it? I think it's as lackluster as it comes. I think that it exceeded my expectations. Maybe my expectations were so low that I actually enjoyed it. I think that the brownie was better than I thought it would be. Maybe, but for me, we are now we are big fans of the Walmart bakery, so I'm not knocking it here, but it does taste like something I could get from the Walmart bakery. 100%. So for something that I'm paying a good amount of money for. Like think about the fact that that is an over $4 brookie. Yeah. No, oh, that's true. That was that is tiny for $4.50. Good point. I'm happy you brought that up because yeah. I was appalled when I picked it up and was like Holy cow, that was $4.50. We're going with what's the most worth it? Yeah. Now here is the Taylor chip. This looks this looks like brown sugar, you know? That's what their cookie base looks like, brown sugar. Easy, easy. We just took 15 steps up in flavor. Mm-hmm. 
The texture's better. It's got the chocolate chips in the brownie dough. You get the brown sugar, extremely, extremely moist, but definitely very like rich and decadent cookie base. Yeah, and those chocolate chips were so melty and luxurious. There is a perfect uniform crust across the entire thing with such a satisfying chew and soft interior. It is not even an actual competition with this plate. Three, two, one, quality. Now this s'mores cookie and this chocolate chip cookie from Taylor Chip are definitely my favorite two items of the entire day. Yeah, I am blown away by Taylor Chip. And if it came down to it, if I had to just go to a grocery store, just go to one of the most popular chains right now, or go to the, or order from the up and coming chain that focuses on high quality ingredients, I'm going with the quality, I'm going with Taylor Chip. I'm blown away by them. Absolutely blown away. Make sure to check them out while you're at it. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and we will see you again real soon.